broadcaster Simonio's right to race without being forced to take medication set for new CAS hearing. Caster Simonio's right to compete without being forced to take medication will be tested again next week when the IAF present a new case to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Lawyers representing the global governing body for athletics will once again argue that to preserve fair competition in the female category, it is necessary to require DSD athletes, differences of sexual development, to reduce their testosterone down to female levels before they compete at international level. The issue remains extremely divisive and is a subject that even splits the opinion of scientists who considers themselves experts in the field. But the outcome of a five-day hearing that is due to run next week in Lausanne could well conclude with South Africa's double Olympic champion and other DST athletes being made to take drugs against their wishes if they want to keep racing. A statement issued by the IAF on Wednesday night said, The IAF is not classifying any DST athlete as male. To the contrary, we accept their legal sex without question, and permit them to compete in the female category. However if a DST athlete has testes and male levels of testosterone, they get the same increases in bone and muscle size and strength and increases in hemoglobin that a male gets when they go through puberty, which is what gives men such a performance advantage over women. In 2015 Indian sprinter Duti Chand won a case against the IAF at the CAS which forced the governing body to abandon its rules on testosterone levels for intersex athletes. And last year the United Nations Human Rights Special Procedures Body said such regulations would contravene international human right. On Wednesday Jonathan Taylor, the IAF's London-based lawyer, Nevertheless told the Times that a defeat for the IAF next week would be a serious blow to women athletes with normal female levels of testosterone. If the CAS rules that legal recognition as female is sufficient to qualify for the female category of competition, and the IAF is not permitted to require athletes of female legal sex who have testes and consequently male levels of testosterone to reduce those levels down to the female range, then DSD and transgender athletes will dominate the podiums and prize money in sport, and women with normal female testosterone levels will not have any chance to win. The IAF have not helped themselves in the past, particularly when it has come to their dealings with Samania. When an 18-year-old Samania won her first world title in Berlin in 2009 it emerged she had been asked to undergo a gender test before the final. And in 2011 the IAF then announced new rules for female athletes with hyperandrogenism, setting a testosterone limit considered to be in the normal female range. While these rules were in place Samania was not as dominant and she is challenging the IAF's new eligibility rules. Katrina Karkazis, senior research fellow with the Global Health Justice Partnership at Yale University and one of the world's leading experts in testosterone on Wednesday night accused the IAF of seeking to create its own definition of sex based on erroneous beliefs about biology and gender. It is unfounded and cruel and will do even more harm by fostering misunderstanding and further discrimination. They also claim that higher testosterone levels confer a performance advantage so they need to provide causal data showing a performance difference and the magnitude of any difference.